Happy holidays. Hey y'all, it is Christmas Eve. I'm in my she room. Homegirl, the one who um recommended that is good. Maybe I watched Cat on the Hot Tin Roof. That is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, let me stop looking at this. I do want to watch something that's uplifting and just a good movie. I don't want to watch anything too dark or too, you know what I mean? So, it is Christmas Eve. We have been up doing all types of stuff. The weather outside is horrible. I feel bad for anyone who's locally in, 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 an, in a bad mood or lonely. This weather is just going to make it even worse. I mean, it is raining. It's been raining since yesterday. And it's dark and it's cold. Like... I'm not going outside till Thursday. That's how horrible the weather is. So anyway, I'm back in my room, my she room. JB and my husband are in the front. They are putting together his Lego kit. Um, tomorrow I will probably put together one of his other toys. We got a lot of hands on toys because that's just the type of child that I have. He likes to build up stuff and then destroy it, basically. That's that's how we work around here. So y'all, I hope you guys are, I'm gonna be uploading this on Christmas. So I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. Um. Let's play some Christmas music, girl. Da da Sugar hand, sugar hand. <laughs> so, let me talk about this petty stuff real quick, and then we'll get into what I'm I'm going to be, what I really wanted to talk about. We'll get, we'll get into this book right here that I have, and it's a little a little bright on y'all, so bear with me. So I did watch half of the live with African Hair God. And his responding to Sin Doll's video she did about two weeks ago. I have since unsubscribed from her. But my unsubscribing from her. Sorry. And just watching her interaction with her subscribers. But I think that she can be very confusing. The information that she puts on here. Um, and just for that reason alone, and a lot of it could be conflicting, which is why I'm like, girl, you, you, I like you as a person, but this is, and I know some people are the opposite, you know, I think she doesn't have, and this is kind of what African hair God said in his first reaction video, I, I believe. I don't think she's intentionally doing this. She just doesn't know any better. Um, which is why I, you know, I, I think it would be great if someone would have reached out to her on the side and say, hey, sis, instead of a public platform like YouTube. But with that being said, let me start opening up some of my new stuff I bought to y'all. African Hair God did do another reaction video to a video she posted two weeks ago in regards to, um, what was it about, um... Uh, Flat ironing her hair, silk pressing the hair. She was drawing hydrogen buns. Now, before that video, I did catch her detangling. I believe it was, it was her daughter's hair and her stating that it's not best to use water to detangle. Uh, use oil. Um, once you add water, it breaks up the bonds. And, and, and I'm just... When I was... Actually, I think it was that video that made me be like... That made me was like, hmm. I cannot personally go in on my hair and use oil only. Now, some people may be able to. And again, this is one of those situations where you have to take what someone says with a grain of salt and then apply it to your own regimen, okay? Me personally, I just can't come out the door and just use oil. I have to. Now, I'm okay with, with dry detangling, meaning starting off on dry hair but then introducing moisture to my hair in the form of either water a leave-in spray um a rinse out conditioner something again i can't go in just with, with oil and that's it some people may be able to and I, i'm gonna say this too and you guys this is not for me i'm coming from a perspective of this is not someone who is wishy-washy who has one hand over here when you know what I mean? because there are some youtubers who like who are like that I'm coming from a from a perspective of I have seen people who have left comments on Sendall's channel specifically and they're like, hey, I've used your regimen and it works for me. So kudos to them. Again, that's what I'm saying. You as a viewer, you have to take what someone says with a grain of salt and apply it to your regimen accordingly. And it's gonna all gonna depend on your hair texture, your porosity, 
your patience level girl please whole point girl so anyway y'all he made another reaction video um and this is not in regards to how she was detangling although i think he may have saw when she was oil detangling because he was kind of speaking on it it was more so a video she did on breaking down you know all of the different hydrogen bonds first of all i have 30 credits in biology so i think i can talk to this <laughs> I didn't watch all of her video I will say this but I did see the part to where she was drawing um, the hydrogen bonds and how it relates to your hair and I was like this that's not a proper way to draw uh, the the chemical bond at least from what I remember and there were a couple of people who actually have a working knowledge of chemistry, organic chemistry. There were a couple of people that had either wrote on his on his channel or or her or her channel, excuse me, explaining that, hey, sis, you know, I have this background. I have additional questions because this doesn't look right. And she was on defense mode. And I was like, wow. <laughs> but again, by then I'd already um unsubscribe but this is the only thing i kind of don't like you know of course african hair, hair god has every right to you know respond to whoever but i just wish he would have approached it more so from even though she probably would not have received it i honestly don't think she would have announced her defense are really going to be up because i believe he even called uh, I don't know who he called. He called someone. I don't know who this person is. And the girl was referring to her as a bitch. Excuse my language, but that's what she called her. And I'm like, oh, see, that's when it went. You know what I mean? I'm like, see, personally, I wouldn't allow that type of interaction on my channel because that's just too much negativity. So, again, I just wish that he would have approached it more so from an educational moment for her. Whether or not she would receive it, it would be presented that way. But um, at the end of the day, there are only a few people that I follow for science-based hair information as it pertains to natural hair. Green Beauty Channel. The Green Beauty Channel. She lives out in Hawaii now. I'm jealous. She is literally one of the only few there's there's yeah she's the only few that's currently who's very active but y'all mm -hmm. so anyway on to better things <laughs> i started this year um well years ago i started with my goals and i am a vision board type of person now i personally have gotten to the habit now to not share my vision board with everyone. I typically wait till things are in motion. Hold on, y'all. I thought I heard him. I typically wait till things are in motion and, um, you know what I mean? So I have another vision board that I've created for myself. I created this weeks ago. In addition to that, I purchased from Ross. Don't sleep on Ross for planner stuff, y'all. I purchased from Ross a calendar a notebook journal type weekly monthly view calendar however i'm going to use this as my bible journal um and one of the ways i would like to use this is of course every morning when i have my my quiet time and i read a scripture or a verse or two i'm going to be jotting down how i feel you know what verse stood out to me and etc if i could do it every day awesome but i want to do the, to do this at least three to five times a week um another thing that i i jotted down i saw a post on facebook a couple of weeks ago and someone had asked have you picked your word of the year have you picked your word for 2020 i'm like the word a word is this something that i'm supposed to do in order to get my tax refund what are we <laughs> yeah no i'm silly i was like what are we talking about so at first i was like this doesn't make any sense i don't understand so I started seeing examples of people, words that they were going to, I guess, focus on overall for the year for 2020. And so I thought about it. While I was sitting in church, the word abundance came to me. Abundance. I'm like, okay, abundance. So I took it upon myself to write down all the scriptures in the Bible that have the word abundance. But the thing, you guys, that can be complicated for both non-believers and believers to be quite frank is that the bible sometimes if you read one little verse you won't get the entire because there may be something 
four or five books down that relates to that verse you see what i mean you have to read things in context so not only did i look up abundance but i'm also going to be looking up abundant i took it a step further and also looked up the definition for abundance and i think a lot of people automatically automatically assume okay wealth and honestly that's what a lot of prosperity preachers focus on but for me personally i'm talking about spiritual abundance I'm referring to abundance and joy, abundance and peace. Um, those things can only come from the Holy Spirit, okay? And, but once you acquire those things, wealth, health, and all that will come into play. I want an abundance of knowledge, you know what I mean? So I looked up the definition of abundance, but then I wanted to look up the history of the word, where did it come from, the root of the word. Um, and it basically relates to water overflow so again an overflow of joy an overflow of peace an overflow of health so that is going to be my word for 2020 folks so anyway y'all okay amazon are you coming over here next to me because this amazon this amazon prime band has has driven by here a couple of times anyway y'all so um what were we talking about it's really pouring down now y'all I'm going to start cooking again around too. Yeah, let me call my mama child. Hold on. Hello? Hey, Billie Jean. <laughs> hey, it's even that, Natasha. G girl, you're going to say my whole name. <laughs> oh, look, mama, you you still selling cakes today? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I saw the pictures you posted. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see my popcorn? Oh, I didn't see your popcorn. Hold on. Let me look it up. You made some caramel corn or kettle corn? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I made mm. some ginger popcorn. Ginger? Uh, ginger popcorn. Oh, that good. sounds good. This ain't bad in the corner. Oh, mama, this is so pretty. Where did you get this Christmas tree thing from? The neighbor said uh, on Facebook. Cook it. Look it up. <laughs> Child, look at your store. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, when I, when I said that to love, she could not stop laughing. <laughs> she said, Vivian, your mama got an open sign. Today she came out and took her ketchup. Oh, so <coughs> You make that with rum, right? <coughs> I made the one, yeah, with rum. Oh, no, I did a with brandy. She brandy on her. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this, this uh, popcorn looks good. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say two uh, fruitcakes. I'm going to save for next year. That's where it goes. Mmm, pecan craving. I see I got three left. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a lot. You did a lot there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Who wants some collard greens? I do. Mr. Courtney McCourcy. <laughs> uh-huh. He sells heat. Is he, is he growing them? Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mama, I'll let you go. Child, she having a wholesale. She got me in the car. I'll let you go, mama. Okay, bye. They call me Viv. Back home, y'all. Um, Viv. Child, country. Everybody got nicknames out in the country. Hell, I know some people. So Someone had called one of my um uncles by his name. I'm like, I never knew that was his name. <laughs> his name is Uncle LT. I, never, I don't know what LT stands for. So anyway, y'all, let me show you these cute planner stickers. Okay, girl. Okay, so this is the washi tape I purchased. And I just opened these up. Can y'all see this? You probably can't. Let me see if it's focusing on my face still. There it go. Isn't this cute, y'all? And then this is some of the stickers that came with it. Isn't this adorable? This is another, this is some more stuff that I bought um, when we went back to Michael's. Oh, y'all, this weather is making my um, my allergies inflamed, so I may need to take some medicine here. We're all sneezing. And then this is another one. Look. Look at this. I love black and gold. Ugh. Oh. Lord, yeah, I'm getting stuffy. Let me put this stuff up. I ain't gonna do none of this stuff today. I'll probably do it 
later on this week. So, all right, y'all, what time is it? I'm trying, I got a lot more to cook. Why do I always do this myself? I love to cook, but I'm tired already because somebody got up early again because he was so excited. He was excited about opening up his presents, so I knew he was going to get up early.